as we notice, those of us who are of a certain age always have a tendency to look behind us to criticize people who are 30 years younger. But one of the things that's easy to criticize about is a lack of ability to do things with your hands. We think, I, I certainly think, and Peter agrees with me, and I think a lot of people agree, that the ability to actualize your imagination through your hands is extremely important. What we found, just on our own life experiences, is that any person who's given an, an opportunity and they have success, what comes from this is a person realizes that they just did something that they did not know how to do and they had success. This translates into all the other things that you might think you can't do, now you know that you can. How it fits into where I occupy in the ice house is that my space is very much a fishbowl and that you can, you can see in from the outside, you can see things that are happening. I'll be you know, taking some footprint in an 80,000 square foot building, which is you know, an, a Barry Kelly joint and if anybody's seen one of those, they would definitely want to be in it. And so I'll have, you know, five, six, seven thousand square feet to set up all this equipment and um, we'll be set up and operate as a living, working, you know, jewelry museum. And what it is is a series of, of presses that a person walks up to and takes a couple little pieces of metal and puts in and goes from press to press to press. And they operate this press, but at the end what they have is a beautiful pair of earrings. And when you see people do this thing, their eyes just, just light up and, and they've had a very favorable experience. What makes it great is at the end of your experience where you got something cool to take home and something that you made with your own hands. So we think that's gonna be a lot of fun. For me, it's been like a fairy tale because you know, all of a sudden I have this great success with Peter um, Barry and I are formulating business plans. Um, Jim Schaefer is, is walking me through this process of liaising with the university. Um, the city is finding ways to contribute. The state has come across with this half million dollars. Um, I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> So it's important to, to note that Peter and I did not get started off on, on a good footing, but what happens here has to be juxtaposed against what happens in Providence, because that's what he compares here to. What he sees happening here is the city cooperate with the developer, with the university, with private investors to collaborate in ways that everybody is contributing but nobody is having to give anything up to build this wonderful space where um, my future workshop and a satellite of the Jewelry Museum can exist. This has been his mission for 30, 40 years in Providence. When Peter's here, he's, he's truly uh, appreciated, I guess we'll say as a celebrity. And I thought while he was here, wouldn't it be cool if other people got to hear some of the things that he has to say and how he says them? So I called um, um, the jewelry instructor at JMU and I, I said, Mark, the, you know, Peter's going to be here. He's a great guy. I think that I could, could talk him into speaking you know, at, at an appropriate engagement. Now, I've heard Peter speak before. And so I knew it was going to be great, and of course he was great, and he's always great, he's always interesting. But he gave a very interesting talk, and at the end of it, he got a lot of questions from faculty and from students. What was really cool is that we left from the university, so a whole bunch of people are carpooling, and we go over to the place on Bruce Street where we got the screw presses and drop hammers and stuff. And we gave a little demo and showed some stuff that we'd been working on. But what was really cool is when we were done, all of these kids walked up to him one by one 
and shook his hand and said thank you. They were very polite and they were very respectful. And so uh, that was important to Peter, that was important to me. He appreciated their reaction that way so much that one of the, one of the things that when he went home, he gets home and you know, we're talking about it a couple days later, is that you know, it became more and more important to him that this space would be successful in a way that these same students for years and years and years to come could have this important experience in that space which is a space that he contributes to. So this is working out in the way that all the things that I had hoped would work out would.